Hello everyone, this is our 46th video tutorial under the GCSE topic revision guide called Harder Graphs. We have seen quadratic graphs, cubic graphs, reciprocal graph, linear graph. So this type of graph is like a mixture of all the graphs questions. So when it comes to graph, all type of graphs. So we group together all the exam style questions on this tutorial. Let's look at the exam style questions. Hi, this is the tutorial we are going to discuss in this video session. You can download this tutorial from our website at www.smart-tutors.co.uk forward slash worksheet.php Under the year 11 section, you can download this tutorial. Yearly membership 24 pounds allows you to download all the tutorials in PDF format. Let's look at the exam style question. Question number one, here are four containers and the four different graphs. You need to match um, each graph to the container. So the very first step I will do, the container number two is regular cross section. So is the water, uh, depth of the water increase with the time in a constant rate with a B. So B and two are matching. So B and two are matching. Number one, so number one is what? Is cross sectional area is increasing. So the cross sectional area here at the bottom is small, the cross sectional area is bottom is large. So the water level is increasing gradually. It is increasing, but it's not rapidly increasing, gradually increasing. So number one match to D. So D and one. And the next one, here to here, the water level is rapidly increasing, which is like this, then gradually increasing like that. So A, number three and A. Then the last one is going to be the four, is going to be the, so C is four. So C is first, it's gradually increasing then rapidly increasing. Question number two. So in this type of graph, if you see a, a trigonometric graph type E, it's going through zero, zero is sine graph. So sine graph is E. Cos graph is B because the cos graph cos zero is one. So that is the answer for the B. Next one, quadratic graph we know that is going to be F. Then the e to the power graph, y equal four to the power two x is going to be the C. Cubic function is going to be D. And finally, reciprocal graph is going to be A. We have learned this type of graphs in the other tutorials. That is our answer for the question number two. Question number three, the graph y equal kx is given they ask you to find out the k so all what you want to do is pick a point so if i pick a point here the answer is minus 2 comma 4 so minus 2 comma 4 so here x here y so y is 4 k minus 2 so I'm substituting y equal 4, so which is 4 equal k to the power minus 2. So 1 over k squared equal 4, right? So 4 over 1 cross multiply. So 4k squared equal 1. So k squared equal 1 upon 4. So k equal plus or minus square root of 1 upon 4 which is k equal uh, half because minus half is not possible because k is greater than zero. It's given here, k is a positive number. So that is our answer, k equal half. Question number four, on the grid, uh, draw the graph of x squared plus y squared equal four. The four is two squared, so the radius is two. So you can say that um, you need to draw a circle uh, with a radius 2. So let me do this one. So how to do this one. So this is 1 minus 1. This is 
hopefully it's minus two and um, so here one one two three four four five one two three four five so here so if i do this one so that is roughly a circle need we go through the points you need to be very careful with that so this is the point plus two and this is the point minus two and this is the point two and this is the point minus two right and on the grid sketch the y equal cos x graph so 0 to 360 0 to 360 so here 0 and cos x means cos 0 is 1 so here cos 90 equals 0 cos 180 is minus 1 cos 270 is 0 here and cos 360 is 1 so the graph you need to draw it's not that accurate but you know i'm just like a drawing with a the light pen and a pad and um, so in the actual graph sheet you need to draw the a nice cos uh, bucket graph uh, question number five the diagram shows a sketch of the curve y equals sine x the exact value of sine 60 is given root 3 over to sine 120 we already done this one in the cost diagram sine 120 is c a s t 120 will be in the second quadrant so it's going to be like that so here to here is 120 you always need to go for 60 the acute angle right so sine 120 equal to sine 60 right so you always go for the acute angle and this quadrant sign is positive we have done this uh, exact trig values in a tutorial you can go through the um, trigonometry section in our video tutorial we have clearly explained cast diagram method so positive sign 60 sign 60 is root 3 over 2 and that is the answer next one sign 240 sign 240 let me draw uh, that one in a red color so here from here to here is 240 so this is 180 and another 60 is 240 so sine 240 equal sine again 60 but in this quadrant sine is negative so negative sine 60 negative root 3 over 2 so negative root 3 over 2 and on the grid below sketch the graph of y equals sine 2x and 0 to 360 so y equals sine 2x um, how to do this graph and between 0 to 360 first of all if you put sine 0 it's going to be 0 right and let me help you to do the actual graph so i'm going to do the sine proper graph so y equal sine x y equals sine x is starting with 0 sine 90 is 1 sine 180 is 0 sine 270 is minus 1 sine 360 is 0 so the graph is going to go like that for the like that right now 2x means you need to x coordinate need to be divided by 2 so 180 so i'm going to use a different color red color 180 becomes 90 and the 91 become 45 1 and uh, this becomes here and this becomes here and 360 becomes 0 at 180 right and uh, then this becomes here and this becomes here and this becomes here and this becomes here the red dot is the one for the sine 2x graph so if you connect that one so the red dot dot is the sine 2x graph so that is the explanation for the question number five question number six uh, the graph is given 
the two points is given so the sketch shows a curve with equation y equal k a to the power x where k and a are constants a is greater than zero the curve pass through two points find the value of k and a so 1 comma 7 means this is x and this is y so y equals so 7 equal k a to the power 1 is k a so this is first equation next one 3 comma 175 and this is x and this is y so 175 equal k a cube that is the equation 2 right so now from the equation 1 you can say k equal 7 upon a so if you sub k equal 7 upon a in 2 equation 2 175 equal k 7 upon a a cube so 7 upon a a cube means 7 a square so 175 is 7 a squared so a squared equal 25 a equal plus or minus square root of 25 so a equal positive 5 because a is greater than 0 when a equal 5 so k equal 7 upon 5 so k equal 1.4 so that is the answer for k question number 7 sketch the following graph so y equal x means that is going to be a, a curve a line straight line like this y equal minus x in the opposite direction you need to know and y equal minus x cube it's going to be so if you have any doubt right if you put um, uh, x equal 1 what will happen is so minus 1 cube is uh, minus 1 so x equal 1 so minus 1 so the graph is going to be like that and this is going to be go like that so maybe a little bit neater and um, if you have the next one y equal x cube here that is going to be nice curve like that like that so y equal 1 upon x is the reciprocal graph is like that and minus 1 upon x is like that and so that's the one finally y squared equal x means that is a, a graph like that right so you know y equal x squared so y equal x squared we all know the graph is the happy face graph so that is going to be a 90 degrees rotation to get y squared equal x careful y equal minus x squared you know how to do that so in a sad face graph like that so that is the uh, video tutorial for the harder graphs hope you like the video if you do like the video please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you like to download the video uh, tutorial you can download it from our website and um, the website address is www.smart-tutors.co.uk forward slash worksheet.php the very first three uh, tutorials free of charge and if you want to download all the tutorials you have to be signed up for membership which costs two pounds a month thank you for your time